Hey guys, Chris from Harmony Turbines here. Thank you for joining us. You're gonna say, wow, he's standing in front of some crazy things right now. We've got a lift here. We've got two of our turbines. Well, what this episode is going to be about is the project to get some of our turbines on the roof. Ideally, we wanna get four of our turbines up on the roof, but we're gonna start with a single scoop pair and then a four scoop pair. And we're gonna put them side by side on the roof so that we can compare in real time how they are performing with real wind conditions. And then we're gonna be sending all that data down through some wires to the area back there. I'll take you for a walk in a moment. Um, but I wanna just very briefly go over, you know, these things are all part of the connecting gear that's going to allow us to attach to the roof securely. We've gotta to attach to the I-beams up there and lock into those. They're at a specific 60 inch distance apart and we're going to be putting i'll take you in the back and show you the two mounting plates that'll be on the roof then we can leave those on the roof and we can just swap out a turbine whenever we make improvements or want to change to a new version this little mess right here is because we're going to also have something on the roof to allow us to bring a bucket up with maybe some tools or wrenches or water or whatever without having to take the lift up and down every time because that's a pretty long and arduous process. So if we can just pull a five gallon bucket up with some tools or maybe some hardware we forgot or whatever, makes it nice so that we can get things up and down pretty quickly onto the roof. So I'm gonna show you, you know, the mounting hardware here with the C-channel that you just saw is what allows us to lock down on the underside of these beams. These two pieces right here are going to be up on the roof permanently. So we have one of them here, one of them here. You'll notice that they're slanted. That's already to account for the 2%, um, you know, the rise over run, the, the grade of our roof. So when it's on the roof, the roof is pitched, but then the turbine will be nice and flat. And then these are where those C channels get locked in. They literally go through the roof and connect to the, the building's structural steel down below. So that's how these go together. It'll allow us to very quickly then swap out our turbines with these three mounting points here. We would swap out to another turbine when we wanna change something or change an entire unit out. So we're pretty excited about that. We'll be coming down through the roof with PVC to bring our wires down and then they'll kind of shoot over to this area where we have plans to put our data logging, our servers that'll you know, be recording the SQL data coming in in real time right into a SQL database so that we can parse our data, we can do any number of queries on it and make sure that, um, you know, things are performing and we're gathering the data that we want for analysis. So that area is going to kind of become the heart and soul of our data gathering efforts. Right now it has some turbines in the way, we'll have to move them. But that's really the plan. Um, getting four of our mounting plates on the roof, coming down through with the wiring, and then everything that'll be up on the roof will be pretty much what you see here. We shouldn't need to go up on the roof unless we want to act actively change gears. So the way we change gears is just these guys so we can change gears, but we would go up on the roof to do that. And you know, we would probably leave it in a specific gear for, I don't know, maybe a month at a time or several weeks at a time. And then we'd take a trip up, change gears to a different gear if we wanted to monitor things at the, the various different gear ratios. Um, that would be one of the things we need to go on the roof for. Obviously, we'd want to be checking to make sure we're not getting any unusual wear and tear on the unit. So we'll be going up periodically to maintain them and check on them. They are our alpha units, as we spoke about before. So yeah, this is really the beginning of, let's see how they do out in the wild, out in the natural wind. Um, our magnetic bearings are of course going to be a, a keen point of interest for us. We had originally started with some smaller magnets. So you'll notice there are four of them in there, but we have since gone to two larger magnets that actually have more force because they're, um, you know, the larger you go with a magnet, the more powerful they get. So 
we went to the larger magnets. We're actually happy with how they are working and that'll be one of the key things we're seeing how they perform up on the roof as well. So anemometers will be up there, all of our controls to bring the information down in real time to our data center, our collection center, and we'll share that progress as we go. So um, thank you for following with us. Thank you for being here along with us on this journey to all of our investors, to our Patreon subscribers. Thank you. We're here because of you. We're doing everything we can to make a product that you're going to be happy with. And in the end that um, we can get out into all the corners of the world, the places that need it, the places that, you know, really are in desperate need for decentralized power generation. So that's what this is all about, trying to come up with a product that you're going to be happy with that's going to work in a very broad um, set of situations and scenarios. So that's where we're at, guys. Thank you for following along. Chris from Harmony Turbines. Take care. Harmony Turbines, we now have the power to change the world.